everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And last week I introduced to you this little hollow log and we used a little bunny from the new 2017 release, the little bunny set. And I want to spend one more week on this. I just love this little hollow log and I want to show you how you can use it a different way. So I've actually laid it on its side and put the little bunny coming out of the hollow log. So we're going to just use those again. And the little hollow log is in the rustic container set. So this one right here. We're going to use the little bunny set again. So last week we used this little one peeking out. So this time we're going to use this little guy right here. We're going to use the new flower set. So this little one from here. And then in the foliage set, the new little vine. And then in the old foliage set, we're still using our grasses, the small one and the large grass. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna do this really cute little bunny set. Spend one more week on this little hollow log. Okay, so we're gonna stamp it first and we're gonna ink it in the sepia. And I, I think it's easier when you're gonna turn it on its side to just stamp it straight up. So I would say turn your Turn your paper around like this and just stamp it straight, just like that. And go ahead and pull the color out of the lines while it's uh, straight up and down. It's just, I think it's just a little easier to see it and see where the color comes out of the lines. So just drag the color out a little bit, just like this. Super easy. This thing works so well. I just love it. I love it. Okay, so there we go. Now we can turn it over on its side. So just like this. And we're gonna uh, add the bunny to it now. So I'm just gonna use a little post-it note and I'm gonna cover up that log so that we don't stamp over the top of it. So just gonna cover it like this. And then I'm gonna take my little bunny and use my positioner because I wanna make sure that I get it in the right spot. So I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna ink it, and I'm gonna use the number 40. So that's that kind of that light, uh, it's called gr uh, brown gray, and that's a pretty good color for it. It's sort of a light sepia color. It doesn't quite have the green in it, but it works really good for these little characters that are light. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this up in the corner like this, and then we'll be able to see exactly where we want him to be. We don't want him too far down, so you wanna leave a little space here so that he's not completely on the ground, you want to move him up just a little bit and just so that his little paws are coming out of the log. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. That little positioner is so nice to be able to uh, get things in the right spot so there's no guessing. And I like that it's small, it's easy to travel with. And it doesn't take up a, up a lot of space in your craft room. Okay, so we're going to stamp this right in here like that. And you can see that protected our little log. So we're good right now to continue on. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this little detail in here. Make sure you always do this with the little eyes. The little nose, see how that pops that little character out? That's really, really important to do that. So let's pull the color out of the lines. Remember to keep that face white. And this area here, as he's coming out of the log, this is gonna be the darkest. So that's gonna be pretty dark in there. This little ear that's in the background, it's gonna be pretty dark. And remember that face should be really light. Okay, we'll come back and add some more color to him. So let's go on to the next step, and that will be to add the little foliage in the background. So we're gonna ink this up. This is the number 15. And you can just kind of put this wherever. Make sure you're stamping it a bunch of times. So get that in there really good. So ink it once and stamp it a bunch. Just like that. And you can see I got a little bit on this bunny here, but that is that is not going to be an issue. So don't worry about stuff like that. So you can get a, your uh, brush just a little bit damp and see how you can just wash that line out. So don't ever panic over stuff like that. Most everything can be easily fixed. And if not, 
it's easy to start all over because you haven't invested a lot of time in these. They're so quick and easy. Honestly, they take about 10 or 15 minutes. And so if it doesn't come out quite the way that you like it, uh, it's easy to just start again. Okay, so we've got our little vine in here now. So let's go ahead and put our grasses in. So we're gonna start with the largest one. This is the big grass, same, same color. And we're just gonna stamp it kind of in the back. And then we're gonna take the small one and we're gonna come below the log here. So just a little bit down below. And then just right over here where the little paws are. Pull that grass up and out. There's so many different ways that you can use this and I know I'm spending another week on it, but um, I want you to see that you can lay it down like this. It's so easy, it's so cute. Okay, so we've got our grasses in here. So let's go ahead and add our little flowers. And this is the little circle hearts. And I went ahead, this is actually from the, um, the Covered Bridge set, but I love it so much that I went ahead and put it into uh, the new flower set. It's so versatile that I just feel like even if you have it already, uh, it's okay to have another one because um, you don't wanna lose it ever. You never wanna lose it. So when it's right side up, it looks like little hearts. So it looks like a little circle of hearts when you have it right side up on your block. So make sure you do that. And you're just kind of going up and down. So one, two, three, four, five is perfect. Now we can put just a couple out here in front. Okay, just like that, just jump it up and down. Uh, I had a I had a question on one of the um, one of the videos why I use the purple so much and the darker colors for the flowers. And really the reason is, uh, besides that I love purple, that I, I'm stamping over things a lot. So a lot of times I'm stamping over the top of the green. Now you can see we're stamping over the top of the log and things like yellow when you're in this busy area don't uh, work as well as these darker colors. So when you're stamping over things like this, uh, especially in these scenes where you have you know a lot of things going on when you're stamping it into a container and you have a lot of white areas it's okay to use those really light pastel colors but in this area here use the darker blues the darker purples the darker fuchsias uh, you'll have a lot um, more success doing that okay so let's go on now and add our little flowers up in here so this little one it's also a new one in the flower set. I love this little guy, so cute. Uh, I spent a lot of time picking these out and um, there's six new ones and it was hard to narrow it down to six, but I feel like these six are the most versatile and that you will just use them so much. So when I say it's a must have, I really wanna make sure it is a must have. So ink that again. And this is the persimmon. I also love this color. So when you want that really vibrant color, uh, just just ink it, um, just stamp it a couple of times, and then re-ink it again. Let's just get one more in here. Okay. Then we're going to add our water to it, and just touch it. The color will just kind of pop out, gets more saturated, so cute. Don't be afraid to put a few little light ones in the background, it's okay. So let's go on now and add some color to this little bunny. Last time we did him in the number six brown, but let's, let's do this one gray. And so we're gonna use that gray brown again. And remember we want to start really light, we wanna go really, really light. So just take a little bit of color start where it's the darkest and that would be in here uh, right where this log is and drag that color out. Just bring it all the way out, leave his little chest white. And just keep adding color as you go. It's gonna get darker and darker. This is a process, but it's worth it to just be patient and take your time adding this color in here. Okay, 
pinch your brush off. If you if you see where the lines are, you know, maybe too definite, you want to really feather this color out. So really pinch your brush off and just lightly bring that color around. Okay? That looks good. We can add just a little bit of uh, pink to his cheek. This is very, very light. You just want to do a very light color with this and add just a little pink to his cheek if you want to. Totally up to you. And maybe a little bit in his little ear here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we are about done with this one. Sign and date. And next week we will go on to another one of our new releases. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you.